Hello friends, this is Leo Saron and since we just started December it means it's time for November's Art Roundup and since it's also Monday this will be sort of my vlog as well the last of the year probably so uh, this is a sketch it's a painting sketch I made from imagination no references whatsoever uh, I don't remember how long I took to make this one yeah, so uh, this is a study from a photo, of course. I did it in 35 minutes, so of course I didn't have time to do a detailed texture of all the leaves. I posted this on one Facebook art community asking for advice on how to improve faster on scenarios. People said that I am already on the way, that made me happy. But, looking at this picture, I don't feel like it's a good display of anything, except maybe for some values, and the way I distribute things is very proportional, even though I'm looking at it side by side and not on top of it. I don't know, but I, I was happy that they said I am, I am on the way. Uh, here is a focus on the on mine, yeah. Okay, another one made from imagination. Uh, no biggie here. Just this was made. Wow, 75 minutes. It took a long time, and it's not even rendered well. Well, I guess that's why I have to practice, huh? Uh, another one, uh, just. Uh, I made all these bricks and when it came to add the texture I was super lazy and the texture became these grey spots. <laughs> terrible, terrible. I think this is the thing I made this month that I dislike the most. <laughs> One eye made from imagination. Yeah. Directly on Photoshop without guidelines, just painting over. Another one. Just painting over. An ugly elf. <laughs> Imagination again. These face studies were made taking from inspiration the Japanese actress named uh, Chiaki Takahashi. I, I looked at some pictures of her and I made those. I think the one that looked closer to her is this one, of course. But um, the other ones are cool as well, I think. Her. This looks like her the least, but I like the way I rendered it. Alright. On this picture she was like biting a glove, pulling the glove out of her, her finger like. Um, yeah, so. This is a judo technique called Okuri Ashibarai or sideways uh, leg swipe, something like that. I saw I, I took one photo reference, of course I already knew the technique, it took one photo reference, but from a single reference I drew it in different angles. Because that's the exercise, just try to visualize the form of the anatomy in different angles from a single reference. Uh, those were made all by imagination and then I, ran, I went ahead and... Wow, just a second. Okay, something I made with these faces is further on, on the picture list. So I will talk more about the, those faces there. So the, these were like uh, composition studies I made from imagination. B, C, and A. I think A is like luster. There's nothing much going on here. Even if I added more people walking around, I don't think that's what I wanted to get to. C. People told me in one art community that was the best one because it 
points that there is something beyond this plateau where the guy is standing. The idea is that there is desolation on this plateau and the adventure will continue outwards. So, of course, this points to some activities and possibilities here. But the one I liked the most and, I, and that I started rendering is B. Of course, there, you don't see much desolation on the sketch, but I'm going to add this on the painting. Uh, but there is this tower. The, it's not a tower, it's like a dark mountain that's menacing. This mountain will be darker than anything on the background. So, And the guy is looking at there, like he's leaving desolation and going there. That's the idea. So, yeah, this is what I was talking about. Look, uh, I used markers to do this. I, li I really liked the results. Even though I'm not very good at blending colors with marker. Yes. Let alone keeping the colors within the lines. <laughs> yeah, so. This girl. Really liked her. This is an interesting result. And this this is a merry girl. <laughs> She's happy. All of them. I don't remember if all of them were made by imagination. I think I took a reference for her. Maybe. And the others are from imagination. No, maybe I took... No, I think I took a reference for this one. Yes. And talking about her. I made these. And I made a ton of versions of the same picture. With subtle changes. Then I realized that this... Space smoke that she's spitting may not be very interesting. So I made it without that. I think this is my favorite version of all. But I also colored. Yes. So, uh, another sketches. So I drew Princess Daisy from the Mario universe and I made her in a semi-realistic realistic way. Uh, some... I think this was taken from a book. This, this one. This, maybe two, I don't remember. Imagination, I don't remember, maybe Imagination. From the same book, this one. This, I think, is from Imagination. Imagination, yes. Uh, this was taken with photo reference. Uh, yes, I think this too was from reference. This was, I think, Imagination. I think all the other ones were made by Imagination. And my favorite picture in here is this girl. Yes. So, uh, now that I think of it, I made much more doodles from Imagination than from Reference this month. Yeah, truly. Everything here is from imagination. Uh, this is an elf girl. I really like drawing elves. You know, they're just people with pointy ears, but there's something so eerie about them. I made a few horses this month as well. Oh, I just remember that I forgot to add some pictures to this threshold. Did I? No. No, never mind. Yes, so I made this scenario here, it's like a cave with a lake, a couple of elves bathing, there is like a small waterfall in front of everything, some rocks, just scenario from imagination, I really liked this one. Yeah, this month I, I didn't do a lot. And I posted even less. I didn't post what I did very much. Uh, I don't know why. My focus have, has been wavering a lot. I'll just show you how uh, my my tower picture is coming out. Here it is. It's the B version of that. So there is. I'm still rendering everything, of course. The, the knight, the horsey. 
some stairs. I'll draw some dead animals and corpses and skeletons here. Some ripped flags, maybe. Uh, and the, this eerie dark mountain on the horizon. So let's start the vlog part of everything. Okay. So I haven't made a lot of drawings this month. There were a few that I liked among these few that I made. <laughs> but that means I've been hard on focus, hard to focus. I haven't even touched my 3D scenarios and I have done a very little towards the, about the game I'm making with my friend that changed from Thailand to England. Yeah, and last week I just started another freelance from the same company uh, of the previous big freelance I made this year. And that of course is taking some time and energy, but I really enjoy working with those people. No way in hell I'm complaining about it, I really love working on the projects they present to me. It's just that there is one more thing to take my focus, that's just what I'm saying now. And that I think I am in a transition phase, because I want to do a lot, but I haven't been doing a lot. What I mean is, I've got a cup and I'm trying, I mean, I've got a basket and I'm trying to put too much on it, maybe. I've got to reorganize, you know, I think that there is a lot holding me back uh, when it comes to my mental space. Too much on my head, so I can't do anything really done. That's why I think I've got to reorganize my head and I've got to get rid of old thoughts and habits that do not serve me anymore. And as a metaphor, it helps us to organize our minds when we metaphorically do things concretely that are similar to what we want to do on our mind. So, I want to get rid of old habits, so I should also get rid of old furniture that does not serve me. I should. I want to reorganize my mind, so I reorganize the physical space where I work. And of course, I'm, I already started reorganizing my computer files. A lot of trash got accumulated, so I'm reorganizing everything. I'm in a process of doing that so that I can move forwards. Next year I want to move forwards. Some things aren't serving me in my mental space and even in my physical space, so off with those things. Uh, this is mainly what I wanted to talk about this vlog. Yeah, so next year by, by getting rid of all those things, I, I do believe that I can move forwards in terms of mind space and health. So when I get healthy, I'll be able to practice Judo again, start Taekwondo and go to more sword play practices. Next year, there are a couple of things, I already said that in the previous vlog, I'll skip that for now. So next year, I'll be able to do more, I'll upgrade my computer little by little and that's it. Uh, let's talk about fun stuff. Uh, there is there, with there for a couple of weeks there were no summoning banners on Fire Emblem heroes that interested me. Then we've got one summoning banner with a lot of heroes I liked, and I was able to summon a lot of heroes that I wanted. I mean, two of the main heroes I wanted. I summoned Hrid, the main red hero of the banner, with plus attack and minus speed, which is the best IVs for him ever. Then I finally summoned a legendary Lucina. Yes, very much wanted her with plus attack and minus... I don't remember, it wasn't one of her defensive stats, one of the first, one of the, those stats that doesn't matter to her. And just today I summoned another legendary Lucina with plus speed, which is another great stat for her, and minus HP. And also I summoned another Brave Lin on a new banner, which I used to merge to my main Brave Lin. So this week I made great summons on Fire Emblem Heroes, super happy with that, super happy with that. 
and you know the last vlog I said that I I won't want to dive into the Dragon Ball Fighters meta game but I'm having mixed feelings because I've been looking up some pro matches and that game looks so beautiful at high level it's just that I look at it I see all those combos I don't yet know how to do and I think oh man I wanna learn that I wanna learn that perhaps I'll do the same approach I do to most fighting games I like I will stu study the meta but I won't study intricacies of matchups and things, I'll just study some execution things that will make me satisfied to press buttons and see nice results on screen. Perhaps that's what I'll do. But slowly, you know, I'm going on a trip this Thursday and I'll be back only on 23rd, so I won't be posting a lot. I'll try to post all the drawings that I made that I didn't yet post on social medias this week before I go, but besides that don't expect much from me on the internet. Uh, what else? So I won't be able to play Smash Ultimates, I am very much looking forward to this, but Smash Ultimates like, will release one day after I go on the trip, and I don't think I'll find some Smash Ultimate rig on Peru let alone on the Machu Picchu trail that I'll go through. <laughs> but anyways, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, oh well, I think that's it for this week. I am not inspiring, inspired to share more with you today. I just hope you enjoyed the drawings I made this month and all those, all that philosophy talk about moving forward and reorganizing and let things that do not serve you go away. It's important. It's important to clean our mental and physical rooms from time to time. So that's it, friends. Have a great week. Have a great December, actually, perhaps. I won't talk to you anytime soon. So it was great talking to you. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.